Aliens built Anchor Wat, and I defy anyone to tell me that this huge structure was built by normal people. The sandstone blocks, bearing in mind I watched my other videos about quartz in sandstone blocks which levitate. Uh, these blocks weigh up to 1.5 tonnes, originated from a quarry at Mount Kulun, which is two hour drive away. It was then thought they were taking 35 kilometres along a particular canal, then rafted another 35 kilometres along a lake, and then up a river uh, for 15 kilometres against the current. And that's the distance there. Now, supposedly it was made by King, I won't even pronounce the name. And why do they think that? Because there was a relief, basically an image of that person on Anchor Wat. Now, if I went to Windsor Castle and drew a relief, does it mean I made it? No, it means I was there after it was built. So there is no way that someone would go through all of that if it wasn't to do with levitation and blocks. Someone tell me that it wasn't aliens and I'll laugh. Why hasn't SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, found those balloons or UFOs that the military shot down? Well, that's quite simple because SETI, if you actually believe they're doing it for the real reasons and not just being funded uh, or set up so that they could continuously keep saying, no, there's no such things as intelligent aliens, uh, I'm kind of on that side that it's set up for that reason to deliberately, just like Project Blue Book originally was set up to to debunk thing. anyway but the thing is that these guys are using certain telescopes certain frequencies etc but imagine if we didn't use am and we went straight to fm radio or imagine if we didn't use fm we wouldn't and what happens if we just skipped radio altogether and went straight with microwaves such as wireless bluetooth but if we could extend that further so these guys is, uh, could be searching for something that's never going to be found anyway because they may aliens may not have used the same tech as us Breaking news update, the alien temple that belonged to Enlil, who was an alien son called Nanurta, uh, the person that found the inscription that said it was Nanurta's temple has been called out by his peers. Unfortunately, he's just turned around to them and said, look, come here and have a look, because they're armchair uh, complainers, a bit like the people that I get on TikTok that say I'm wrong and that those tablets are fake, even though there's hundreds of thousands of them around the world uh but anyway so what's breaking about this is actually there was a hundred thousand tablets there a hundred thousand so this is why i keep saying the tablets are not fake people but they were um taken around the 19th century during excavations so there's only 200 tablets left in this area and of course you know whoever took those hundred thousand are not going to show us all the juicy information about the aliens and when i say aliens the anunnaki Amazing news, everybody, about our alien creators. Have I figured out something about the pine cone that they hold? This is what it looks like close up. Now, the British Museum, dun dun dun, has a pine cone terracotta mould. Who would make a mould for a pine cone? Easter eggs, um, gold, or something to hold inside? Now, could that have been a metal of some description? We don't know. But it was found in Egypt. They don't actually have a real time frame for it. But as we know, Marduk, which was an Anunnaki, one of the people that used these pine cones, was Ra in Egyptian times. So it matches. If this was found, for example, in England, I would have said, ooh, I don't, I don't know. But the fact that the Egyptians and Sumerians were literally next door and did cross... Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think this is part of that? I'm honoured that you think my 40 years of research, I'll be able to answer this question. So I've read as many translations as I possibly can many times over, and I've never come across anything where it's translated into a pine cone. And they did carry with them jewellery, uh, makeup, lapis lazuli, but they never, ever mentioned any advanced tech. And in fact, they actually did mention that they're not allowed to teach humans advanced tech. Not in those words, but you get the picture. So the problem is people are actually saying it um, represents the pineal gland. I can't see that. To actually have um, Anunnaki holding that, what, what relevance does that have in their carvings? It's, it's far more important than that. And also, although people think that it belongs to or, or relates to a pineal gland, I can't see anything ancient. I can only find people talking about that they believe it is. So if anyone knows anything ancient that connects it to a pineal gland,